Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Drelix, the one and only. Today we're playing Westgrove. This will be the third recording I've done today. It's, I have accidentally forgot to press the recording twice now. With two other games, but I'll play them another time with another recording. This... I know nothing about this game whatsoever. I am just springing into this game. It's on Itch.io. I'll leave the link to the game in the bottom of the description so you guys can play it for yourself too. It's free. Um, remember to do make a donation though to help these guys grow as well. It makes them it helps them out a ton. But here we go, let's press start. Sorry, I just made too many intros today. <laughs> My brain is gone fried. All I know is it's about spring rabbit or something like that. Alright, what's this? Video collaboration. Video camera box. It is empty. Be quiet. Oh god. There we go. Now we can make it look as good. I need to start folding my clothes. My wardrobe is a mess. When I was younger, I actually had that same similar problem. My backpack. I always carry a camping kit in my backpack in case cheaper than a hotel. Hello, Jim. Hello, it's Jim. What's up? You've done the worst Grove filming for me? Not yet. My camera um, camera broke. I just brought a new one. Sorry, my blade recording tripped me out. I thought my thing was freezing for a second. That's all right. This story can make us some good money, you know. If you need to to do the usual, get some crazy guy and pay him like five dollars so he can say he saw a big foot, a flying saucer, whatever it is this time. Alright, I'm heading there now. As soon as I have all the footage. I will call you back. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. There we go. Alarm clock. Alarm went off this morning. Picture. I still remember the day we took this family photo. My parents are always calling me to invite me to their house. I always tell them I'm out of time. I'm afraid someday the call will be saying their time is up. Oh, that's horrible. E. All right. Well, anyway, I need to change my clothes. Okay. Let's change our clothes. Got a backpack. We are off. We're off on a trip with a favorite rocket ship. Do bye day. Yawn. Shit, what is this place? How long was I asleep? Damn driver dropped me off in the middle in the in zone. Oh in okay. I must be behind the town. The road looks empty. I don't think I'll be able to get a ride here. Let's go have a look around. This factory looks abandoned. The graffiti on the door is creepy. Oh, can't go in. Okay. What about this way? What's this actually? That's a sign. Right. Can't go this way. So I wonder. What big bad is going to get us today? Seems to have an entrance. Maybe I can go through the forest to get to town. Well, that ever works out well. <coughs> Whoa, that is really weird and trippy. Uh, hello. A shirt. I really don't want to know what happened here. Uh, uh. Fair enough. Off we go. 
Off we pop. Ugh! Scarecrow. This scarecrow is bizarre. Maybe there is a farm nearby. That's discarded it here. Well. I would God hope so. If that's a, if that's one of the things that like comes after us. That's if anything comes after us. What the fuck was that? Not my problem. I'm leaving. I am leaving. I'm going to get to the next town. I'm going to buy myself a Reese pack. A bottle of cook. That sounds very unhealthy as shit, but it sounds blade delicious at the same time right now. I'm going to sit there, gnaw on it, pretend that sound never existed, and just go on my day in life. What would you do, guys, if you got dropped off the middle of nowhere and you and you thought there was a f town on the other side of the forest? Would you cross the forest or would you get a long way around and go into the town? Because that would be the plan I'd be going, is be the long way around. Fuck, so if I can't see the town, I ain't going through the forest. It's getting dark. I better set up camp here. Tomorrow morning, I'll arrive in town to finish. Feel me. I need to find some sticks to light the fire, I think. I can find some further in. Hold on. Ah, oh, they actually set up a tent. I don't need anything in the tent at the moment. Maybe I'll get that later. So I gotta find sticks. Stick, I need you with some sticks. Ah, sticks. Well. I guess I was shall go. Whoa, my face sticks are having a seizure in the corner. I'm jiggly, jiggly, jiggly. Let's drop these off at the fire. Light this up. And let's get on with our night. Now I can rest for a while. I'd better pack my things inside the tent. Yeah, nah, if I don't know where this place is, if I don't even know where the hell I am, I would be going camping out in the middle of it. Hey, quit whispering in my ear. Looks like it's already dark. I just want to smoke a cigarette and eat something. Where is it? Is my cigarette pack? I must have left it in my backpack. It's not in here. It must be fallen out of my pocket at the bus stop. Shit, I can't concentrate without my cigarettes. I think I can get a flashlight and real quick oh shit at least I'll use it for something dude why I don't like that why would the f I don't even know what the f nah come on fuck you smoking this is why it's good not to smoke guys don't smoke otherwise you'll die in the middle of a forest painfully apparently Right, let's go find it. I'm already bloody lost in the dark. This looks already different. I don't even remember this area. I swear I can hear something whispering. What? Oh, my mind's playing tricks on me. Uh. Hello? Alright, just ignore that and keep going. Did I take the wrong way? 
I'm pretty sure this was the right way. How did I get to this wall? Looks like some newspaper poster or thing. Missing since December 14th, 1931. 17 year old student Helen Baker disappeared three months ago. The police found her dress yesterday morning without any rips or marks, which indicates that she took it off herself. That the person just killed her and just stripped her. Possibilities. Oh, there you go. That's why I wasn't there. March 18th, 1933. Uh, volunteers searches find no trace of Thomas Lewis. Located uh, Darrowfield police believe the man fled on account of some gambling debts. Thomas's family does not believe this version. Henry Simmons, 13 years old, black hair, brown eyes. January 22nd, 1933. Several residents are moving out of Dairy Fields. A debate rages at the town hall to decide, to, to decide the town's future. Illegible. Um... October 28th, 1932. Distru uh, distrust and fear spreads through the area field. Illegible. Alright, that's a bit of law there, guys. So this town started freaking out and wanted to leave. I must, I must have missed it. Da damn. I'm starving. I better try to find my way back to camp and get something to eat. I don't like that scarecrow. Oh, we know our way back. That's easy to find. Aim through this is not that difficult. Just need to go loopy loopy around. I thought this looked different when I was walking through here, though. Ah, uh, that wasn't here when we went through. This has changed. No, it didn't. Never mind. I think I'm just an idiot. Thank God I managed to get back, find my way, to find the camp. I hope my lunch is still in my backpack. If that's gone, I think I'd be very upset too. Do I... Where the hell do I eat? Uh, it's bread. I need to spread peanut butter on it. This forest is some kind of creepy... Creepy at night. I think I might go... A little further and do some filming for Jin. Do I need to get anything out of here? Uh, just leave. Alright, we'll just go. Right. Unless there's a way to bring up my camera. I should. I think I'm going to be alright. So, what's... We got a big scary thing following us. I think. Can't go that way. Am I an idiot and just missed the camera? I probably missed the camera. Can I pick up something?
Byron. All right. Let's make sure I'm not missing something. Left click dialogue. Drop an item as Q. Interact. Maybe because I need to drop the lights, which is a bit weird, but I see it happening. No? Shifts are on. No. Maybe not. I feel like... Alright, let's follow this pathway then. Might just have to look around for a bit over on this side of the bush. Ah, here we go. There was a pathway. I was just a blind ass and didn't see it. I can definitely... What was that? Make sure. Let's have a look around. There might be a bit of law. Beautiful law. No? Alright, well, I'm curious of what the hell is going on here. Not curious anymore. Oh, fuck no. This guy is crazy. Uh, February 2nd, 1933. Town of Dairyfield on the brink, brink of bankruptcy. Legible. Uh, Mayor Frank Bur Barnes decli uh, declined interview. Ah, well, shit, buddy. You really should have went for the something. Nothing interesting. Nothing interesting. Is there any food? Rusty one open. Wait, wasn't there a... Oh. I can see a lock through the gap. But can't reach it. Ooh, interesting. There's something on the other side up. Fucking wall. Secret bloody doors. Uh, I can film something through the keyhole. So this one we're filming through the keyhole. It's too hard to see. Some, uh, the door is a little cracked. I can see a hinge on the side. I can unscrew it somehow. Um, so we saw anything. All right, we need to find something for it. Nothing interesting. Just a bunch of old rags. Jesus Christ. Uh, the mattress is extremely dirty. I'd say, like, you know, it's too bloody dark. But this kind of fits in with the theme of being really bloody dark. Is there nothing around I could use? Uh, so you want me to film something? I have to film something here. Can't I just go? Nothing interesting. Just don't. There's got to be something here. Come on, guys! I can't be an idiot here and be saying nothing. If I press on this. Oh, I did. It. There's blood. Oh no. She locked me here now because I managed to escape from the basement. I hear <coughs> Ralph calling me, but it's. I was the scarecrow. 
I think she can see through its eyes. I tried to find the way, my way to the town, but the forest seems different every minute and the night never seems to end. I found this scarecrow, um, screwdriver behind the house. This is my only hope to get out of here alive. Ooh. This is so, this is a bit like, they got inspiration from Blair Witch. Get the crap out of me. Hello, still recording. I was just gonna say, am I able to have a hand or something or not? Hmm? Am I gonna have a hand or something or not? Not at the moment. <laughs> just for a few minutes. I'll talk to you in a second. Do you shut the door? Sorry about that, guys. I can't identify what that would be, but it will cert um, surely bring a lo lots of audience to Jin. Wait, right, can I take? Oh, did I just view it? There you go. All right, screwdriver, it is. Sorry about that, guys. I have people walking in here con ton constantly. Uh, welcome to a life of not having an office. And welcome to the life of that app. Well. Those who yawn, um, yearn for heaven. Um, so? So? Hell on earth. I think it's going to say shown. Show. Hell on earth. They drowned me. Wonder, wonder, uh, wounded my flesh sinned before the Lord they took everything from me, my happiness my vi vi vitality I can never say the word for me my faith, I was lost but now my purpose is clear I give up everything even though I thought I had everything, already lost everything I offer my soul, I open myself to sin for a free life without the bonds that binds me. <clears throat> they fear hell, but hell has always been here, and people are start starting to realize. Oh. Starting to realize it's not working. So, what exactly are starting to realize? Don't they realize you're crazy? Locking people up in your house. It's gonna make a joke, but probably not appropriate. <laughs> Nothing interesting. What's in this one? February 26, 1933. This Sunday, the population rate of Dairyfield has been updated and estimated to have dropped approximately 86. <laughs> 86% since 1932. Mayor Frank Buns <coughs> finally speaks out about the case, and as a last resort, he reached a consent to rename the town to Dar of Dairyfield to West Grove in hopes to attract new tourists to the residents. Oh. Ah, oh, excuse me. The door is stuck. Maybe I can film something through the keyhole. <laughs> I'm gone. I'm gone. Oh, fuck. Fuck me. That took a big fucking twist. Let's tell me something through these bushes. Got me good. 
I actually got chills from that. Bah. Like, at first I was going to make a joke. Well, there you go, guys. Holy shit. That was a good game. I'm not going to lie. I actually really liked that. Continue with your work. That was pretty... That was just... At first I was thinking that was going to be, you know, it was Scarecrow was going to get me. But I wasn't expecting um, that to happen. That was just something that just blew my bloody mind. Scared the absolute shit out of me at the end. Well, especially when you saw the coals just standing around there. Did not expect that. Uh, when I, especially when I reversed them, just dead. Anyway. Um, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Bye, guys.